That is the most synchronized video in the world. <laughs> and nobody will get that because I'm cutting that out. Cool. So welcome back to Enter Harry Potter the 36 Chambers. What are we doing? We're running through Hogwarts. We're looking for a member all. We are. We think it's somewhere outside. We can't remember what the uh, directions we were given were, and we can't re-access them. Because we speak to Neville, and he's just like... I don't. I didn't think that was Neville. I, I thought the remember was like a Neville thing. It, well, it's like a It's a thing in the first book where it's, it's Neville's remember all. Yeah. I believe it's just a generic thing anyone can have. Mm. I get a feeling it would be viewable from a distance. You're There's right. a bookshop down the street from here that sells them. What do they do? I Presumably it's just like the, the clear ball that turns red if you like give it a shake or something. Alright, I was wondering if it was going to be like a, like a mood ring thing. Like if you're stressed because you've forgotten something, <laughs> then it changes colour. Isn't... The ground is freaking out a little bit. I don't think we're supposed to be back here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Skyrim technique doesn't work here. No. Yeah. Well, you need a horse. What a useful wall for Hogwarts there. But no, isn't... Yeah, it's probably not that way. Isn't the premise behind mood rings just body temperature? Yes. Because yeah. in theory, if you're stressed, it changes how your blood flow is distributed or whatnot. So in theory, it should be different for each person and you'd have to calibrate it first and then blah, 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 blah. So... Are you suggesting it's woo? Am I suggesting it's some sort of <laughs> yes? Yes, I am. I think that is the right opinion to have. Yeah. Oh, it's a student. So while we're exploring, I did a bit more thinking on... <gasps> mobile studies. Oh, we found it! Side is, quest. Isn't that supposed to be red? What, well, we've, Har we've Harry's not forgotten. Well, we've forgotten something. <laughs> Harry hasn't forgotten something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cognitive disconnect. What is it? But no, regarding Muggle studies. Yes. Do you suppose, and I'm fully expecting you to say I'm giving Rowling too much credit here, is it like... Wizards and Muggles, is that like Plato's Cavern? Which, if anybody is not aware, it's a thought experiment where suggests you have a group of people living at the bottom of a cave. And the only thing they know of the outside world beyond the cave is shadows cast on the back wall from stuff passing the mouth. And they would come up with their own names for these things and their own theories as to what they are. And when they leave the cave and they learn, they can never go back in because they know the truth and they can't properly explain it. I didn't think that was the shtick with the cavern. I, that's as I understand it. All right. I could be wrong. Future me is going to put up an annotation to see whether I'm right or wrong here. <laughs> see, uh, my, but, pro my problem with it is my understanding of it comes from the, like, couple of hundred years later of the Christian interpretations of Neoplatonism and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, so it's a little bit... Mine might be a little bit different, but it seems to correspond to a con conception of a mundane reality in a higher spiritual reality. Yes. And the mundane reality... Um, we think is the only experience you can have because uh, all we are aware of is the shadows of the cave on the wall but there is a higher real reality yeah. that the shadows in the mundane world are you know shadows of well, but I, I didn't think that there was a there was a component of going outside I it, it's it, it's like you said it, it, going outside suggests reaching a higher plane of knowledge or consciousness or what have you Hmm. And my thought is, is that how they explain it in the book? That wizards have some inkling of unknowable knowledge that we don't have, and that's why Muggle Studies is a thing. No. Okay. Like, li like literally, this <laughs> that that kind of thing would, has has never been brought up in the. In the no. <laughs> is the is the uh, is the easy answer there? Um, I say why Muggle Studies is a thing. I don't. Well, to be honest, I'm not really sure how that would correspond to why Muggle Studies would be a thing. Well, I mean, like, if the wizards have some knowledge that we don't, it would be like we would study lesser organisms in biology, for example. 
Uh, I'm just trying to make sense of the game. <laughs> uh, that's all. Yeah, no, I think that's just a little bit... Um, yeah, uh, a level deeper than... I'm really confused. <laughs> You're supposed to be going to the flying courtyard to find someone who needs our help. Where is the flying courtyard? We're in it now. Yeah, this is it. Oh, okay. Oh, hey. This, this is where Madam Hooch told us to fly. Again. There's Hooch. Would you like to attempt the flying exam again? No! 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 Why Press X to take exam! <laughs> Go behind you. Maybe the... Oh, wait, no. There's someone in the corridor. So yeah, pointing. Pointing helps. Oh, it was a tree. It was a tree the whole time. Ah, but someone needs our help here. We've been told. Yeah. Unless it's someone I've already done and they didn't expect me to be to have done it. Sequence breaker. I mean, there yeah. was the merit. Oh, wait, no, is that a person? Yeah, yes. that was a person. <laughs> That's not a tree this time. Hello there, Harry. I've lost my potion jar and Professor Snape will oh. find it. Can you help me? It's Snape, that obvious bad guy. Remember? No, I don't want to. I don't want to go repeating things from previous playthroughs. But how about some needless busy work? <laughs> Look at that Pac-Man tree! That... Yes, they've still lost their potion jar. Mm -hmm. They don't know where it is. The other game to which you are referring has a lot of needless busy work. I mentioned it! Yeah. In the videos itself. Yeah. We'll find the potion jar eventually. We found that remember all eventually. Maybe it's on the map. That would be the worst kind of fetch quest. Let's just go here and go back. All right. Okay. So we've done a couple of meaningless side quests. Let's go to the astrology tower. Have we been able to find it? Because I've not. I been thought able... we found the door. It was across like a little little bridgey thing in the actual castle complex, though. So. Okay. Maybe it's through that door. Because we have a map that's not labeled at all. Yeah. From what I've it's, seen, it's pretty. It it just shows you where people are. It's the confiscated item storeroom. I'm sure we'll never go That's in there. That's an impractical place to keep confiscated items. That's probably intentional. Like, it's not exactly that easy to no, find. I mean, it's impractical for the teachers. <laughs> no. Oh, they don't... They, they could just magic them there. Uh, Why do does this place be... have doors? Why can't you just magic yourself to everywhere? Because <laughs> uh, you can't operate within the Hogwarts grounds. Oh, they've actually got, like, protections against that, haven't they? Yeah. I remember, I, I remember this now. <laughs> but you are, in theory, can flew between offices. Oh, that's true. Let's go into castle. Eat up me duck. Go into castle. Put tip kettle on down tip pump. <laughs> don't you <laughs> shake your head at me. <laughs> you don't say ta. No one says ta. Put kettle on, go down pub. But not around here, no, but... No, I mean, that's that's like the... I've, I've heard Yorkshire people complain at long length about um, about Southerners trying to do Yorkshire accents. But, uh, I, I have to say, derailing the conversation from me being wrong, I like that this place is a lot more... Uh, amazing! Oh, come on, come on, can we see in the cupboard? <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to... Uh, uh. Alright, there we go. Uh, Dodge the cupboard. Dodge the cupboard. Dodge sideways while in the cupboard. Uh, hang on. Um, no, it just does a dab instead. <laughs> oh. Oh, trendy Potter. They thought about that. But I like that. Now that we've gone up a console generation, this grand hall is a lot more grand than the one in in, it, in, in the Philosopher's Stone. It is a lot grander. It's a lot less... <laughs> I just realised that you talked about... Look how grand this hall is. <laughs> well, it, it, it actually exists in this game. Yeah. As opposed to the permanently locked door in the other one. No, so this is what we were missing. The grand hall was in there. No, the broom cupboard was. The bro yeah, the, the, broom the broom cupboard, cupboard was, was a locked door. Oh, yeah, it You was. go downstairs now. And as far as I know, we couldn't oh, get, get into point. it. I don't... F you'd you'd think the astrology the tower would be up rather than down. Oh, try. That's locked. But it's locked. Okay. Mm. Man, we are so lost. <laughs> It'd be nice if the map had, like, 
Labels. Filch's office. I, the, the only thing with that... Alohomora. Uh, I haven't got the Alohomora yet because I can't no. afford it. The only thing I'm thinking of with that is... I don't like when games have minimaps slash really detailed minimaps. Because then all I'm looking at is the bottom 5% corner of the screen. Oh, yeah. I, I, I know a couple of other gamer friends of mine do that, but like... Now I'd be watching the arrow dash around the map instead of Harry doing this grand adventure. I can't remember last time if we checked if Gredenforge's shop had updated. Oh, I, we could do that. Because if they did. have, if they have the bigger bean bag, yeah, that which be they easy. really should have, unless that's part of progression somewhere. Maybe, but I don't think we've got enough money to buy anything that we don't already have. Mm. I mean, it's stink pellets. We can buy a bigger bag for those, unless it's an update thing. Oh. You have to buy something so and then they go... Yeah, if we buy, buy the bigger bag. For our valuable customers. Well, if we're going to buy anything, get one of the cards. Uh, that, that's that's a collectible. Mm. You've got to collect collectibles. It's in the name. Every time we learn a new spell, we're going to have to check every room to make sure. <laughs> to, for the get rid of cobweb spell... The get rid of goo. Goop. And that the trademark Harry Potter green goo. Give people a slightly tickly throat. Eh? That's a really useful spell. Because yeah. then they can't spell cast. Because uh. they're trying to cast. <coughs> Sorry, I'll be back in a bit, Harry. <laughs> You, ah, you win what, this time. What about about that? <laughs> Never mind. What about that wordless spell casting, though? Did she just Is that say a thing? Yeah, it's in like the the sixth book. Oh, I don't. Or remember the fifth that. book, sixth book. Well, we're only on the it's second. You, it's what you do when you get better at it, and then you say the word in your head, and you can cast it. Mm. And they, well, so they start they start teaching you that towards the end of school. That seems like it would lose a lot of the flourish of doing magic. Part of the fun to me would be shouting whatever I'm about to do. Yeah, but if you can do that for literally everything you are trying to do. I mean, what if you did have a cough? You can't do anything that day. True. Laryngitis. Sorry, I, I combined you saying, oh, what, what, what if you had to say everything you were good doing... I say, what if you had a cough? And in my head, it was just like, cough, cough, cough. <laughs> <laughs> just, just providing your own honour, that's a peer. <laughs> I'm going to eat this sandwich. Crunch, crunch, crunch. I did send you the incredible mouth ban, right, Peter? Yes. 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 <laughs> Get us that... all low. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There it is. It's, I think we have to go through the door. Don't, no, we have to go, go through this door. Into the reading room, because I don't think there's anything in. Why is what is that? What he does with his arms when he says the password. Maybe he thinks that's a spell, <laughs> and he has to be all big and grand about that. Oh, grand! Quick question, you, using my vague knowledge of the movies, Portrait of the Fat Lady. Mm -hmm. Wasn't that Dawn French? Uh, only from the third film. Or was she just a fat lady who happened to be on the wall? No, she the the fat lady trademark okay. uh, was Dawn French from the third film. Okay. The yeah, so she's Dawn French in the same way that Michael Gambon's uh, Dumbledore. Okay. In which eventually, yeah. But first, it's King Charles. Yeah, he does that for every every password. He's got a flex at the window, not window portrait. I have to say, well remembered, because I I forgot this is where we were oh, going. Oh, they're only there at night. Oh, boo. <laughs> boo earns. Oh, are you ready for some backtracking? Oh, let's just cut out the last five minutes <laughs> of, of nothing. <laughs> but we were talking about so much interesting stuff. We've got to stop saying interesting things and then going, I cut that. Well, yeah. <laughs> We're going to reveal all these divine truths and then eventually go, now nah, leave it. Yeah, but we d we don't know where we're going. <laughs> we sure know where we've been. 
I think I said that last time as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Storyline wise, third floor for defense against the yeah. dark arts. Should we just continue with the plot? Let's continue with the plot. I guess we should play this video game. <laughs> Wait, isn't the sixth floor miscellaneous studies? Um, or is this floor miscellaneous? Is this floor just Gryffindor? No, it's Gryffindor and something else. And because it's like the top, the highest we can go, I was convinced okay. that we'd be able to find yeah. the. Um... Go up to your, go up to your room. Behind you. Behind you. It's up there, Behind isn't it? Behind you. What? Isn't it? There's stairs at the other end of this. Oh wait, no, that's the way out. No, yeah. you're right. Sorry. Yeah, that's where Neville was. That's yeah, where Neville, Neville was. Neville was stuck in here. And then the common like an room, idiot. and then on the right, yeah, and on the right is the um, the where I sleep. But let me just check the the board. That's uh, get my get my. Uh... Oh, still get the telescope. Yeah. Oh wait, no, drop from the astronomy tower. Wait, hang on. Uh, uh, dropped from the astronomy tower. So it's some. We need the we need the broom. Okay, pan, we pan the camera have... left a bit. Pan the camera left a bit. You keep it going. Look at that developer's kid. Oh, <laughs> developer kid. No, the other one's developer kid. Look at that. Look at that teenager. <laughs> Look at that Sith Lord in his robes. Only a Sith deals in absolutes, but that seems like a bit of a binary position. <laughs> yeah. I think I heard that it was originally only a Sith deals in that kind of absolute of the you are with me or I will kill you. Yeah, I can which, see that. Which makes more sense for only a Sith does that kind of thing. But yeah, there's... <laughs> yep. Big okay. hair on that last. Look at that. Hey, look, it's Fred and George's shop. Hey. Hey. That's the portrait to get into Fred and George's shop. Oh, it's the same picture. It's the same picture. Are they reusing assets? Boom. You don't say. Uh, well, in universe, that's going to be it's like the portrait of the same person twice in two different places, and then they can go between them, uh, which is like legit a thing. Um, it's like a plot point in book seven. The telescope's going to be outside, isn't it? Yeah, it's on the rooftops. So uh, we're that's why have... he suggested we yeah. need the broom. So we should probably go to is, class. Is this one of the games with free broom usage? It will be, and I don't know when that unlocks. I don't know if you're supposed to do the the uh, the broom exam again. Because maybe you didn't pass it well enough. Oh, maybe. No. I say, we'll... We'll, we'll, we'll plot first. Begrudgingly, we'll go to class. Okay, yeah. I might be... I might be looking up right now <laughs> when the broom is supposed to unlock... Yes. I typed in broom unlock chamber of, and it wanted to auto complete to commerce. <laughs> chamber of commerce. He's been waiting for quite some time because we've just been oh, screwing around. No, oh, you shouldn't have gone in. Because oh. I think we are supposed to be unlocking the broom. I think we can have unlocked the broom <laughs> by now. Oh. And instead, it's going to be the end of the day. At the end of the day. Well, we'll come back to it. We'll come we back will. To it. We've got free roaming to an extent. Is this one of the ones that Connor wanted to do because it's free roaming? Yeah, you need uh, you need to get a better rank than B. Okay. What rank did you get, do you remember? Oh, I've seen this bit in the movies. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember that bit in the IT crowd where he's just like pointing a face and then behind him is a is a portrait of him doing the face? 